Yo, I gang to the Zilla and a boom shots that come. You hear that? Set a height, nice clean. So that's where I live. Boom. Keep your soul, you know? So that's where I live. I want to say to all of you all, you know what I mean? I wish you all the best here, leader of this Jamaica 50 independence. And the whole nation is in celebration. Well, I hope that celebration translates onto the general public and to the mentality of the people, you know what I mean? To make our one nation, our one place. So, you know? So, before we start, congratulations, happy birthday. Ah, thank you very much. And that was a great performance out there. I mean, it's a major year to be performing on Sunfest Build to, the, to, tonight. It's their 20th anniversary, and of course, it's a major year for Jamaica. It's their 50th anniversary of Jamaican independence. What was it? What was it like performing tonight? Well, to me, I've been saying it uh, the whole night, really. That you know, it, I'm not so um, big on like well because it's around the number 20 and 50 and all of these things because you still have to go through 47 48 49 to make 50 likewise 17 18 19 to make 20 you see so whatever some fest i do or whatever celebration it is of jamaica independence or any of these dates every year is important and every event that you every, anything that is anything worth your time and giving you energy to is important and should be considered so regardless of the year or whatever so for me, like I said always, I'm always proud to be presented on the Sunfest Bill. Always proud to perform in Jamaica, being that is the place of my birth, growing up, raising, and the music that has influenced me to become a musician also. So I always feel good about that. Well, I say, you take I home, no place like home, home sweet home. Like home, the ever so humble is home. The hey. ever so humble is home. Jamaica, 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 Jamaica. We bumped into your mum um, as we were coming in and she was just saying how um, she used to come to Sunfest pitch up tents and you guys were grown up like coming to festivals. What are your early memories of these festivals? Well my early memories of these festivals was exactly what you're saying. We'd come here and some of the first times that I ever stayed up until the sun rise was at concerts like this. Some fest, you had another festival um, over the years called Sun Splash, which was the original from them time there. And you know what I mean? These are two great festivals in terms of my upbringing and you know what I mean? My musical upbringing also. My heroes, people like Shabaranks, Ninja Man, Super Cat, Tiger, Peter Metro. This is where I would come and see them perform. I would be so close to the stage that they would be literally almost stepping on my fingers because I'd be at the edge of the stage watching them. You know what I mean? And that has a great deal to be with how come I have become a musician myself. Because if you even check my style, you can see that I have a lot of dancehall influence, you know what I mean, along with what is originally my family's influence. And it's because of concerts like this. So, you know. Talking about other artists, um, you were here to see Shabba yesterday. What was that like? Where would be the word? Nostalgic. I guess you'd say it would make me feel like I, like I was saying, it would make me remind me of those times. Next week you're going to be headlining at the Indigo O2 for Respect Jamaica 50 and of course you've got an, a second show added as well um, and you'll be there with Stephen and Julian and some of the Ghetto Youths crew. Tell us about the movement, what we can expect from there. I know I've seen Wayne Marshall, he's in the mix now. Well, it, that's, that's one of the most exciting things to me about the London show is that we have the opportunity to use that London show as a platform to present some of the artists that we've been doing work with over the last few months, if not years, right? So we're speaking about people like Black Amai, who comes from Nine Mile in St. Anne, where my father was born. 
and um, Joe Mercer, who is Stephen, my brother's son, so he's my nephew. Yeah, yeah. So speaking about Christopher Ellis, who is Alton Ellis's son, and the artist you just mentioned, Wayne Marshall. So it's, it's this is basically the bulk of the crew that we've been working with over the last few months, two years, as the Ghetto Youths label, and we really proud of what's going on right now because it's a launching of a, of a younger generation and a new movement because over the years get a use has always been the umbrella for julian Stephen, and myself and now this is a good way to, to extend you know what i mean so we feel good about that land and sure looking forward to that <laughs>